Unemployment insurance, UI, PUA. Well, some drivers have gotten their benefits. Uh, there are a lot of drivers that have fallen through the cracks. I am one of those drivers that fell through the cracks. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you why we're falling through the cracks, and then I'm gonna provide some solutions that can help you get out of the crack and get onto the payment highway, all right? And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what 10 hours of phone calling, 1,500 calls, three hours of wait time, and 11 long minutes of silence got for me. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. It is 6.45 in the morning, Monday morning. Got my Nespresso. Why am I up so early? Well, it gets pretty warm here, and in the morning it's cool, and I also don't have to contend with the sun, because the sun can really mess with, with the lighting. All right, let's get into it. Background. All right, so some of you may know my story. I applied for unemployment insurance back in March, March 22nd. I was declined. I appealed. Then uh, nothing seemed to be happening. I did get a call from the EDD, which is the unemployment office here in, in uh, California and they asked me a bunch of questions about Lyft to determine if I was an employee or not. Then a few days later the PUA started to uh, uh, open up so I just said forget the appeal I'm just gonna go with the PUA. I applied for the PUA on the 28th of April. Wow it seems like such a long time ago now and <clears throat> I, I got through. I, I got like almost six thousand dollars. Then um, the process that that woman started continued and I provided 1099s and she certified that I was due 450 a week, which is the maximum you can get. 450 plus 600, which would be 1,050. And I thought, that's great, right? Number one, mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it any longer. But look at what happened. As you can see right here, the home page of my EDD website uh, now says disqualified for the two weeks ending 516 and 523. It all does show my weekly benefit amount at 450. So then I went to the next uh, screen where it says contact us and I put in a whole bunch of questions. And then you can see here, there's all my questions. EDD has received your question. EDD has received your question. EDD has received your question. But I was not getting any results. And it's very Number two. There is blood in the streets. Just so you know, I'm not alone here. I pulled some uh, comments and some feedback I've gotten from drivers. Uh, next one, I'm on three weeks of pending certification. Last time I had to call after four weeks of being pending. I've been trying for seven days to get a hold of a person with no luck. I even tried calling the UI helpline and now their phone is also given the same message about them having way too many calls waiting to be answered. And then they just disconnect on you. I know that experience. Um, and they've only got people working four hours a day, Monday through Friday. Just crazy. So frustrating. Uh, Jay, Monday, June 1st, I got PUA insurance three weeks ago, plus a little unemployment. But to get PUA, I had to be rejected for regular unemployment. See, that that seems to be the problem, is that um, we, we, can, we can land on both sides of the equation. We could go straight uh, UI, in which case we've been determined to be an employee, or PUA, in which case we're determined to be an independent contractor. Hello Jay, I've seen your videos about the EDD. I got my benefits. I called the 833 number. So the 833 number, um, and I'll cover this in a little bit, is, uh, is it's a helpline, but there's only so many things they can help you with. It's, eight, it's from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week. Uh, but they're not as helpful, okay? And they were, but this person was able to then get transferred to a supervisor. So that number is actually much easier to reach, uh, and I'll cover that. Uh, I got a, I got a whole slide on that. Um, here's another message I got. My husband is an Uber driver. He applied for unemployment since March 15th. That's about the same time I did. He was misclassified, so they had him reapply for the correct PUA. Three months later, EDD is still trying to get his wages from Uber. We have been given the runaround for the past three weeks that Uber is not providing his wages. Uber will not provide your wages um, for him to collect unemployment. So I Number three, rideshare drivers, we don't wait. 
We're proactive. We go out and make things happen. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So what you're seeing right now, this is now this is in California, so you're gonna to have to figure it out in your own state. But there's uh, what's called tier one support, which can fix most issues. And then there's uh, tier two, which can look at your account, set up a callback, or apparently also hook you up with a supervisor. So the tier one is only available Monday through Friday from eight until 12. That's super hard to get through. I'm gonna show you how hard that was to get through in just a second. Um, so when you call that one, there's like uh, this guy that says, thank you for calling the EDD. And if you hear that, you gotta hang up. And you just gotta keep doing that until you have like a two second gap. And then there's a different voice that says, thank you for calling. And then you gotta press the numbers uh, you gotta you gotta press one for English. Then you gotta listen to a like ninety seconds of message. Then you gotta press six seven one. Then you gotta put in your social security number and then one. And then you gotta pray. You gotta pray <laughs> that you hear music, because if you, you know, if you don't hear music, you're gonna hear somebody say, due to the high call volume, we cannot take your call, and they're gonna hang up on you. Super frustrating. The other option is tier two, which uh, that previous uh, missive I had, where uh, someone said you, you could ask for a supervisor. This I was able to connect on uh, in, within one hour. Um, so this one, you call the number, uh, you press one and then pound, and then again, you pray for the hold music, all right? Now what I'm showing you here, this guy was, was super helpful. His name is Farzad Azima. So you can find him on YouTube and he's made a couple of videos, uh, recent videos to show you exactly how to get through to those two numbers. And I highly recommend you check him out because I was feeling so down and depressed and discouraged. And I watched his, vi his videos, they're only like two minutes long because he just shows you how to dial on the phone. But he was really able to get me uh, hooked up so that I knew I was doing the exact right thing and I was getting through fast. Okay, number four dialing for dollars dialing for dollars so last week on monday i was like i'm mad as hell i'm not going to take it anymore i'm going to figure this thing out i'm going to get through to somebody so i dialed for 10 hours 10 hours of my week mostly in the mornings um oh, one time i i got got the music on tuesday waited for an hour and a half and then the line just went dead i was like ah so frustrating then I called the other number, the 833 number, got through really quick, but the woman, her name was uh, uh, Lois, was very nice, but she couldn't help me. She said she would have a claim specialist uh, call me back. Didn't get a call back. Then on Friday morning, Friday morning, I'm going to show you exactly what happened here on my phone. All right, so this is what it looked like on Friday when I actually got through after spending all week trying. So I started dialing at 8.01, and uh, between 8.01 and 8.09, I made 94 calls, all right? So again, you're just dialing, uh, you're hitting redial, you're listening. If you get that immediate thank you, just hang up, do it again. And that's what I did all the way through until we got through call number 94 at 8.09, and you can see that call took an hour and 45 minutes. And it was about an hour and a half wait. And then there was a, it just went dead. It sounded like the line went dead, but it didn't go dead. It just went quiet. So I assumed somebody might be listening. So I started to say, thank you so much. I can't believe I got through. I'm so happy I got through. I really need your help. I haven't been paid. And, uh, and then after it was over a minute of just nothing, a woman named Barbara came on. And she was great. And she was helpful. And my, my problem got solved. All right, so that's what it looks like. All right, so that was pretty awesome, and that uh, got everything resolved. So what are the key takeaways here? You gotta decide if you're in PUA or UI. They're two different programs, and at least in California, and I think in most states, it's hard for them to bounce you from one to the other. Um, <clears throat> UI seems to be better in that it seems to be easier to get yourself up to the maximum amount per week. Here in California, they haven't given anybody in PUA an opportunity to, uh, to show 1099s or anything like that. 
And now that the economy is getting better, um, I'm starting to question whether they're going to do that because they may just see that as just giving away money that they don't need to give away. What's the future hold? I don't know. We just had a really good jobs report. Um, it was like artificially made to look better than it was, but it still was more positive than they thought. However, uh, let's not forget, Trump wants to get reelected. He needs a strong economy, and there are still tens of millions of people that are unemployed that need money that, that they need money to spend in the economy to keep the economy going. So what I've studied and heard um, and watched is that what happens in the next three weeks with the economy is really going to determine what kind of a package goes forward. Whether the extra $600 a week continues, whether that amount is reduced and it continues, whether we get stimulus checks, all of that is still very much um, up in the air. And the final key takeaway is don't give up. Don't give up. The money's there. And you just, I was so frustrated last week, guys, men and women out there. I was, I was just like, ah, angry. Why do I have to do this? And when you don't, and I, now I've had the, re, I've had it resolved so I can look back and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. But when you're in it and you're like pushing this boulder up a hill and, and you don't even know if there's an end to the hill, right? It can be very frustrating. So I, uh, I, I feel for you. All I can say is don't give up because the money's there and you just got to talk to the right person who can push a few keystrokes and approve things and boom, um, get your money. All right. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe. Um, we, we put out five videos a week. Join our team. Uh, definitely hook yourself up for notifications so you know the next time we do a YouTube live. This is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope we gave you a little, a little uh, boost. All right? A little boost on a, on a uh, Monday morning. Y'all go and have a great day and be safe out there.